Hey, Ms. Montreal Nation, welcome to another episode of Pop Culture Archaeology with me, Manuel. Today we're going to talk music festivals. And yes, we're not going to talk about the standards that have been around for ages and that are still happening. We're going to talk about, we're going to talk about two festivals that came and went back in the 80s. That's right. First festival was called the Montreal New Music Festival. Hey, new music. Shout out to Ben. Remember new music? Yeah. Ben uh, now is in, where, where, where are you, Ben? BC? We'll just say BC. Um, but the festival was called the Montreal New Music Festival. And here is the premier, premier year programming, program, program guide. Okay, there you go. What's really uh different i could say what's well, really unusual no oh, unusual is a better word i don't have a date and i'm looking through the articles this is like you know this what this reminds me of this reminds me of uh all the greek associations remember uh, for those are that are in the greek community and you used to go to the social dances the annual dances that we would have in different halls and reception halls and stuff back in the 80s and 90s and even the 70s and they would put out a program so they would go and get uh, advertising sponsors and they would just put out this program it was free given to the people that went to the dance and uh, the event and so this is what what it reminds me of it reminds me of Greek event uh, programs uh, souvenir booklets so I don't have a year but I am guessing it would be in the 80s like late 80s okay so and it was at club soda too for four days this one says march six seven eight nine and what were the bands back then that played they were legends okay and mostly for montreal and some from international the darned deja voodoo dub u5 the Gruesomes. Remember the Gruesomes? Yeah. Actually, it was a band. It wasn't. A, it was also a, a character on the, the Flintstones, the 60s uh, animated series of Flintstones. But the Gruesomes were also a Montreal band. A nice punk progressive band. Ray Kondo. Remember Ray Kondo? Oh, man. Rhythm Method. Uh, this Blue Piano. You gotta look these bands up because these were like legends. These these is these are the bands that launched Montreal on the uh, global music scene, weather permitting. Yeah, and uh, hey, remember uh, CIRL Radio Loyola? Yeah, they had uh, they sponsored uh, a concert. Gene loves Jezebel from the UK. Remember Gene loves Jezebel? Yeah. They came to town. This is, yeah, as I said, sometime circa late 80s. And then uh, the second edition was November 2nd to the 12th, 1989. Okay, here's the booklet for that. This one got a bit more, a bit more hip and more music, uh, music focused and uh, more, uh, more accessible. And what were the bands that played there? Oh, Three O'Clock Train played in 1989. Yes. Uh, what else? Weather Permitting made a comeback. They came back for a second year in a row. The band. Uh, the 2100s. Uh, spelled H-U-N-D-R-E-D-Z. Um, Traffic d'influence. Uh... What else? Oh man, tons of bands. Teenage Head. Teenage Head came to Montreal and played the Montreal New Music Festival. There you go. Uh, Condition. Cali and Dub Inc. Sons of the Desert. Remember Sons of the Desert? Oh man. This brings back so many good memories. I mean, we could easily, if someone out there has the time to plan we could easily plan a totally montreal rock festival that's right 
just looking at this and fast forwarding to today, we got at least, at least a hundred, a hundred bands that are from Montreal that we can easily score into a program and do a festival. Jerry Jerry, remember Jerry Jerry? Oh yes, yes we do. The Ho Dads. The Griffins. Oh man, this is like whoa, travel back in time. Yeah. There you go. Montreal New Music Festival. 1989 version. And uh another uh, I'm just gonna finalize, summarize. In 1990, there was an offshoot, I would say, of this festival, Festival International Rock de Montréal, the uh, Montreal International Rock Festival. So I'm guessing it's uh, the continuation of the New Music Festival, but now they they called it, in 1990, they called it the Festival International Rock de Montréal. And the bands that played were... Condition came back. Yeah, I guess. I'm guessing from the roster, it's a continuation of uh, the New Music Festival, except uh, we uh, call the Festival International de Rock de Montréal. Condition played. Jean Leloup also played that time, that year. Uh, what else? Dead Brain Cells, Groovy Aardvark, another Montreal legend, legendary band. Uh, of course, a band from Italy came in 1990 called Litfiba. Litfiba. It was uh, called, it was uh, dubbed a New Wave à l'Italien. Yeah, Litfiba. I gotta go. When I'm done this segment, I'm gonna go and check search all these bands and see if they're still around and if they are guess what guess what we're doing tonight we're going to be sharing these on my other social media channel platforms so come on back uh, anything else interesting here that's it yeah that's it festival international de rock de montreal so i guess one two three three editions and then we lost sight of them. They came off the radar. But thankfully, they were replaced by awesome festivals like Pooza Fest, Pop Montreal, and for Montreal. So the music continues in Montreal with festivals. And that is your pop culture, archaeology, six minutes. <laughs> I would say minute, but hasn't been it's been more than a minute 